Good morning, Facebook family, friends, and my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is Friday. It is May 27th, 2016. Yes, I've changed. The past few weeks have been very stressful for me. I've had to sit down and just really think things through. And I realized that certain things, just the path that I've been going down, had not been good for me. So I had to sit down and really think about things to make a difference in my life and make some changes. It was time for some changes. So with these changes, I look forward to going forward with my life. But the first change I got to do is to, is to take this and throw it in the trash can. All right, folks, baby, I know God long on well. I ain't gave myself to that bull crap. <laughs> I'm not that stupid, honey. No, 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 no. Just because I put on a nice shirt with a collar and grab a Bible, people seem to think that all of a sudden you changed. Certain things you can't change, though. I've been a gay man all my life. So all of a sudden I'm supposed to be able to change this mess because I picked up that book and put on a shirt with a collar and started glorifying the messages in that book that, that, that to me are fake as hell. Oh, boy, I get attacked on Facebook and YouTube all day and night long by these religious people. You can change. 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 You can make a song over here and shake your booty to it. Because I really do think that you can change your sexuality. That by picking up this book, that I just threw in the trash can <laughs> again, picking up this book, reading these scriptures, and running around here, all of a sudden, you can change how you were born. It doesn't work that way. That's how ignorant we are. I mean, ignorant. I've never encountered so many ignorant people in my entire life. One thing I can say about social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all this mess, I've never encountered and seen so much ignorance in my entire life. It's like it's, it's just like you turn log onto your computer, you just sit there like this all day. Are these are they serious? I read this stuff and I say, is this for real? This is a joke. No? What? Y'all y'all joke, y'all kid me, right? No, but it's serious. And people swear that people can change. I can change. Give yourself up, Walter. Why are you in that lifestyle? Why am I in this? That's like me trying. I've said this a million times. That's like me trying to change from being a black man. I can't change my skin color. I can't change this is the way how God made me. And I definitely can't change my sexuality. Now, I can lie to you. Yeah, I can pick up this book and run around and lie, lie. I, you know, let me tell y'all something. I can make some good money lying to y'all with this book. I can get rich. I thought about it. I can make a hell of a lot of money. I can have a good life over here using this book right here. Putting on some nice college shirts like this. I can do it right here in this kitchen. Do videos. Reading from this book, let's see what he opened up to. Second Chronicles 28, verse 15. And the men which were expressed by name rose up and took the captives. And with the spoil cloth, cloth they were all naked among them, and arrayed them, and shot them, and gave them to eat and drink, and anointed them. And, and, and anointed them. You hear that? And anointed and carried out all the feeble out of, of, of them upon asses, and brought them to Jericho, the city of Paul, brought them to Jericho. Ain't God something? God is good. Then they return to Samara. Oh, I know how to use this book. I can use this book. And I can become a very wealthy man. A powerful man. I could. Because I know it's, I've seen it. I see it every day. I see it, I see it every day with so many people who take this book twisted and turning and do all kinds of deceitful things 
and they've amassed quite an amount of wealth. Quite a lot, millions. Oh, I know what can be done with this book. Lies, deceit, harm. I know what this book is about. That's why I always take it and toss it. Because it's probably one of the most dangerous books on planet Earth. One of the most harmful books on planet Earth. One of the most fakest books on planet Earth. And people follow it. Believe it. Believe every bit of it. You get suckered into this mess. That's why people say, Walter, you can change. Yeah, I can change my address and get the hell away from you crazy ass fools. Sexuality cannot be changed. You cannot pray the gay away. You can't change. It's, it's something that is there to stay. So, you know, and, and I get, I get y'all, y'all just don't understand the a consistent barrage of emails, text messages, phone calls. I'm like, okay, these, why are you calling me? From these religious fanatics who swear they can change me. Walter, you're too nice looking. You're too handsome. You're a big strapping man. I can't believe you're gay. Yeah, I am gay. Get over it. Now, I can't believe you calling me with this nonsense at 9 o'clock in the goddamn morning. You know, it's just ridiculous. You cannot change your sexuality. I've known this forever since I was a little kid. This ain't changing. I'm 46 now. It ain't going no place. I'm happy with who I am. There's no need for you to call, email, text message, send smoke signals or whatever trying to change Walter's sexuality because Walter's not a kid. I'm not a fool. I know it cannot be changed. And I'm very happy with who I am. So for those of you you think that your sexuality can be changed, fine. Run off and do whatever you want to do. I see people all, I see gay folks all over YouTube. They've been changed. Lord save me, I've been changed. You believe that, that's fine. That's your life. I don't have time for that fake mess. I'm very happy with who I am. And I realize this is not going to be changed no matter how much prayer, book, Bible, Jesus, all this ridiculous mess. It's ridiculous. It's sad. But I'm happy who I am. And I appreciate all the help that y'all trying to get me to go to the other side. What? I'm a little old for that, though. Trying to have some of these young foods running around here. They might fall for the okie doke. I will not. So, anyway, this is a short little video because I see Vegas about to bark at the neighbors. Vegas, come here. Vegas, you're supposed to be taking a nap. Anyway, if you like my videos, please click like. If you think I can be changed, send me some money. That's what I want. My PayPal information is WalterHampton2 at gmail.com. Vegas, you bet not. You send me some money. Vegas, come here, Vegas. Hold on, y'all. Why? Why? Hmm? I'm doing a bark anyway. If you all want to change me, send me some money so I can feed this money. He did a bath too. My PayPal account is WalterHampton2 at gmail.com. I like large bills. Cash. And I can give him a muzzle. So he won't be barking in the middle of my video. Say hey everybody. Hey guys. Quiet down there. Anyway, I'm going to cook me some breakfast over here and get my day started. Again, stop all these, please, y'all, I'm serious. All these emails, text messages, and phone calls to change Walter, sexuality needs to stop. This is starting to get ridiculous. I've never encountered so much ignorance in my entire life. To the point that I'm like, okay, what is wrong with us? Don't you all really, y'all, I'm just being very serious. A lot of these people really do think that they can change. I, I have some crazy pastor sending me all this stuff every day. I've blocked his ass and he goes to Facebook, blocked him on that and he goes to Twitter. 
you're going to save Walter. I wish I could catch that bastard so I can put my hands around his damn neck. I'd save his ass. Lord, I mean, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, enough of this mess. Enjoy your Friday. Get out and enjoy life. And uh, have some fun today, guys. I'm out.